I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. Milanese style means dredging thin slices of meat in egg and then seasoned breadcrumbs and then pan frying it. It's one of the simplest, easiest traditional Italian cooking techniques and it's absolutely delicious. It's pretty much foolproof. You can make pork milanese or chicken or veal, but pork is by far my favorite. It has the most flavor. It starts off with breadcrumbs. I have some panko breadcrumbs here. You can use just your traditional breadcrumbs, but panko is gonna give you a nice, crusty, crispy outer layer, which is what I like. And then I have some Parmesan cheese or Parmesan Reggiano if you wanna get fancy. And this is a little something different. This is my secret ingredient. It's a little lemon zest. And you often will squeeze some fresh lemon juice right on the top of your pork after you pan fry it. So why not put some lemon zest in your panko? So I'm gonna give this a stir. You obviously wanna add quite a bit of black pepper and salt to this too to add a lot of flavor. Mix it together and we'll be ready to prep our pork. What are you doing? Can I have a bite? No. Put your breadcrumbs aside, and then it's time to work on your pork. I have some beautiful pork loin chops that are pounded pretty thin that I got from my local butcher. I asked him to pound the pork chops nice and thin. He didn't do it exactly how I want. I want these to be about a quarter inch thick, and these are probably about a half an inch. So what you can do is you can just buy regular pork loin chops and do this all yourself, or get them thin or partially thin like these and pound them a little bit. So I'm just wrapping this in some plastic wrap so that my meat pounder won't stick to the meat. And what I'm gonna do is, this is the tenderizer side. We don't wanna use this. We're gonna use the flat side. And we're just gonna give this a nice pound. Get your anger out. You really wanna slap it around. <laughs> and you just wanna pound this until it's even on all sides and it's about a quarter inch thick, which is really, really thin. This is what we want. Nice and thin. This is gonna cook really fast in a pan, which is what we want. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna keep going with all of my pieces of pork. We have our thin pork and it's time to dredge. So I'm gonna show you the best way to dredge your pork. So first piece here, I'm going to put in the flour. I just have some regular all-purpose flour. Now, you wanna coat your pork in flour and then in eggs that have been beaten just lightly because both of those will help our breadcrumbs to adhere to the pork. So first that flour, second the egg. You just want a light little layer, but I'm just trying to get all sides to touch the egg mixture, just like that. You wanna give it a little shake off, and then you wanna put it right into your breadcrumbs and make sure that there's a generous layer of breadcrumbs right on the top and the egg and the flour and the breadcrumbs are gonna get all nice and crispy in our pan. How good does that sound? I think you could fry my fingers too. <laughs> it's time for the stove. We're at the stove. I have a large pan here that I've been preheating for about five minutes or so with a generous amount of olive oil in there, maybe about a quarter cup or so. It's piping hot, you can see it's actually smoking a little bit, which is what we want. We want to preheat our pan before we go ahead and put our pork on. So I'm gonna grab our pork, and I don't think I can fit all of these in here, but I'm gonna try to fit maybe three of them. And you just wanna cook these over medium heat. You don't wanna do high heat because it's gonna burn your breadcrumbs for three minutes a side. It's about three minutes a side to cook these all the way through and to get them nice and golden brown on each side. 
Timer's going off. It's been three minutes. Let's check it out. Ooh, yes. That's exactly what we not want. Nice and golden brown. Look at that. Perfect, that medium heat does the trick. Wow, yum. Three more minutes. For any extra batches that you need to do, make sure to add about two or three more tablespoons of olive oil to your pan. If you want a little something with your pork milanese, I have just the thing a warm arugula salad. Add olive oil, fresh garlic slices, salt, pepper, and lemon juice to a pan. Then add your chopped parsley and halved cherry tomatoes. Turn your heat to medium and let the oil come to a simmer. Mix for a minute or two to warm the ingredients. Pour over arugula, toss, and serve. Time to plate this guy. My pork and my warm arugula salad. Yes! Let's eat. Mm. It is so good. Crispy on the outside, the pork is so much more flavor than chicken. The salad adds a little bit of acidity, a crunch. One of the best dishes I've had in a really, really long time. And this whole plate is mine. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. No, 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 please. <laughs> okay, that I got from my local butcher. I just asked him to, you know, to do so, <laughs> you know. That's the exit. Yeah. Starting with a gentle tap. Wow. 